Good morning. Here's the solution video to problem A1 and A2 of the 2021 Facebook Hacker Cup qualification round. In this problem, we're given some initial string consisting only of uppercase English letters, and we want to make the string consistent, which means we want to turn it all into the same character repeated multiple times. To do this, we can do an operation, which is we pick some character in the string and we change it in some way. In problem A1, we can change any vowel to a consonant and any consonant to a vowel, but we can't change any consonant to an arbitrary other consonant. Um, for example, let's look at the string fox, and let's say hypothetically we want to turn it into the string all e's. The f we can turn directly into an e in just one second because we're turning a consonant into a vowel. The O is a vowel, so if we want to turn it into an E, we have to use an intermediate consonant. Let's use the consonant B, and then we can turn it into an E in two seconds. And then the X, we can also turn directly into an E. So we can turn the string Fox into three E's uh, in three seconds. We can do better, though. If we want to turn it instead of into E, 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 we can turn it into O, O, O. And again, we can turn the F and the X directly into the character O, and the O, obviously, we don't have to touch. So in this case, we can make this string fox consistent using just two seconds, just two operations. Um, the key observation here to implementing the solution is that there are only 26 possible output strings. There are only 26 possible answers, so we can brute force which of these answers we're going for. And then our runtime will be just 26 times n. For each answer string, we can do what I've just done here, iterate through each character on initial string, and then count whether it would take zero, one, or two steps to make it equal to what we're going for. So that's the solution to problem A1. Um, A2 is a little bit more tricky because we can't immediately see which characters we're allowed to turn into which other characters. So we're given a set of um, possible changes in the, in the input. For instance, maybe it's possible to turn F into a B. Maybe it's possible to turn a B into um, an X, maybe it's possible to turn an X into an O, and these are the three replacements that we're allowed to use. Uh, in this case, we can't necessarily turn the string fox into all E's because we're only allowed to use these, spe these specific replacements. So in this case, we could turn the F into a B, uh, we could turn the B into an X, and then we could turn this X into an O, and then we could turn this X here into uh, an O. Um, one thing to notice is that these replacements are one-way replacements. So you can't necessarily leave this as an X, leave this as an X, and then turn this into an X by going backwards here. So the, the direction of these changes is important. Um, and it's pretty clear in the statement that these are one-way directions. Now, in this case, um, we still kind of want to do the same thing. We can still brute force which of the 26 answers we're going for, and then we want to see for each character how many steps would it take us to get from this character to the character we want it to be. So in this case, we're going to brute force what the ending string is. In this case, it would be like uh, three O's is the only possible way of doing this. So since we're trying to get to three O's, we know for each character, uh, we want it to be an O, so we need to say how many steps will it take to turn it into one. Um, in this case, we are solving a similar problem, but it's slightly more difficult because uh, the input can be arbitrary replacements. So a great way of handling this is we can make a graph out of the arbitrary replacements where each node is represented by some letter of the alphabet, and then each of the replacements that were allowed are some edge. In this case, the letters that are important, we would have all 26 if we actually implemented this, but the ones that are important are we have, F, we have an F, we have an O, we have an X, and then we have a B. And we're allowed to replace an F with a B, a B with an X, and an X with an O. Um, we might have more edges in this graph, but for simplicity, this could be some example of what the graph might look like. Then, this question that we're trying to answer, how many steps does it take to turn an F to an O, is just, what's the shortest distance among any path in this graph from an F to an O? Now we can answer this with a BFS, or if we want to be a little bit more simple about it, we can solve the problem for all pairs of letters in n cubed time using Floyd Warshall's. Um, so there are a bunch of different ways of implementing this problem. I think this is a very clean way of looking at it. You just make it a graph, and then you run some graph traversal algorithm, either a BFS um, or Floyd Warshall's. 
And that will give you the solution for how difficult is it to replace an F with an O. Um, again, we're going to brute force this answer string. So we have a factor of 26. So that's a solution to problem A2, um, similar to A1, but it requires a little bit more thinking and maybe a little bit more knowledge about graphs. I hope you enjoyed, and if you were able to solve either one of these problems, that will qualify you for round one of Facebook Hacker Cup. So I hope to see you on the scoreboard there.